A thin elegant tablet or a large powerhouse? A lot of users will be facing this dilemma after Samsung introduced its 12 inch slates. That's why we decided to pit those two categories against each other. Get ready to rumble as is the thinnest lightest 10 inch Android slate out there. Sony Xperia Z2 tablet versus the functional but monstrous 12 inch Galaxy Note Pro. The Z2 tablet is waterproof while the Note Pro sports a pressure sensitive S Pen stylus. Which one will prevail? Let's find out. The Xperia Z2 tablet is incredibly thin at 0.25 inches, 6.4 millimeters, and also the lightest 10 inch tablet out there. Thanks to the light chassis and the relatively thick side bezels, it is easy to hold with one hand, uh, something we don't encounter every day with 10 inches. It's waterproof too with uh, IP58 certification, meaning that you can dip it in up to 5 feet of water for more than an hour. Its only design downsides uh, are the soft touch back that smudges very easily and the tiny side keys that have a tendency to wobble. Sony's tablet is exactly what a modern slate should be, if you want to find justification for it to replace your laptop, at least on the digital consumption side of it. The Note Pro, on the other hand, has a full leather back that feels more slippery. Samsung's slate is uh, not bad in terms of thickness, at uh, 0.31 inches, 7.95 mm, but its 12-inch status returns uh, almost 27 ounces, 753 grams of weight. As for holding it with one hand, uh, you can, but the weight and the thinner side bezel are rather prohibitive to do it comfortably. With its heft, it closes in on some compact ultrabooks that run full-fledged windows, and here we have an Android tablet. Samsung equipped the Note Pro with its pressure-sensitive S Pen stylus, which uh, adds an extra input method toward uh, the large display canvas. The Z2 tablet falls short of the Note Pro when it comes to pure resolution, as it sports a 10-inch 1920 by 1200 pixels LCD display, while Samsung's 12-inch slate flaunts a 2560 by 1600 pixels super clear LCD panel. The Note Pro's display, however, uses a different matrix called the Diamond Pixels, which effectively lowers the sub-pixel count. Its alternative arrangement is quite visible on the large display, especially with solid colors. Since we have a much smaller display on the Z2 tablet, uh, the 224 ppi pixel density isn't far from the one on the Note Pro, so in terms of pixels per inch count, the tablets are on par. Sony uses uh, its new color LED tech for the triluminous screen on the Z2 tablet, which exhibits uh, flashy and appealing but not too oversaturated colors that are very pleasant to look at. Samsung's panel also appears somewhat oversaturated. The white balance uh, of the Z2 tablet is spot on, while the Note Pro flies uh, toward the cold side of the spectrum. When it comes to peak brightness levels, the Note Pro masters the much higher 627 nits, which is an amazing feat for a tablet. Compare that uh, to the 417 nits of the Z2 slate, uh, plus the annoyingly high reflectivity ratio of Sony's tablet, and the Note Pro immediately becomes the better display to use outdoors in sunlight, for example. The viewing angles on both tablets are very very good, with barely a shift in display characteristics, even at more extreme angles. Samsung's new magazine UX is specifically tailored towards tablet usage, with a large resizable panels that can host plenty of diverse social media news apps and scheduling content. It's a different, more structured take on Android's widget system that is more uniform to look at. Couple this uh, with amazing multitasking modes that Samsung offers, uh, like the multi-window mode that can split the screen in four independent sections for each app running, and Sony's Xperia UI pales in comparison. It only offers uh, a set of small apps that can hover in separate windows above whatever else you're doing underneath. You can open up to five of them, but Samsung immediately counters with uh, its pop-up view mode, which lets you open up to five apps in such floating windows too. The Note Pro also has another huge advantage in terms of multitasking and productivity, and it is the S Pen stylus tucked uh, on the upright. It is an uh, alternative input method that is more precise than your fingertip and lets you preview links or folder content before you've even touched the display. The fight here is between the Snapdragon 801 on the Z2 tablet and the 800 on the Note Pro. Both are quad core and clocked at 2.3 GHz maximum, so the overall processing power is only slightly in favor of the Sony Slate. When it comes to graphics, however, the benchmark uh, gap becomes much larger, as the Adreno 330 GPU in the new Snapdragon 801 is clocked a third higher than in 800, with the respective boost in productivity. The GPU in the Note Pro has to push more pixels at a slower clock, but in reality the performance uh, on both tablets seems on par, and we even encountered a Hikapo 2 on Sony's slate and like the smooth sailing uh, on the Note Pro. Both tablets boast 3GB of RAM, but internal storage differs, as Samsung starts you off with 32 or 64GB, while Sony's device begins at 16. The tablets offer microSD card slots for storage expansion too. 
We can't say a bad word about the browsers on these powerful slates when it comes to the fluidity of scrolling, panning or zooming. Samsung's default browser offers Adobe Flash support, though you have to sideload it, while Sony sticks with uh, Android's Chrome that doesn't offer this feature. Browsing on the 12-inch screen of the Note Pro is more pleasant, not only on account of the larger canvas, but also since you can use the S Pen stylus to preview links and photos, as well as clip and share content quickly. Both tablets have uh, 3G LTE equipped models uh, and share Wi-Fi connectivity plus uh, Bluetooth 4.0, assisted GPS and DONA. There's an infrared port at the top of the slate, uh, letting you command home electronics with it. The IR blasters are both managed by dedicated apps, but Samsung offers a much wider scope of gear to manage, including uh, air conditioning units. Sony's Xperia UI uses the album's gallery app, which offers picture editing options from within the app itself, and so does Samsung with its own gallery. The Note Pro has the stylus advantage though, making it much easier to crop, draw and annotate your pictures. Samsung also offers uh, an easy split view gallery interface that lists the folders on the left and the content on the right for easier navigation. When it comes to music players, the Walkman branded one on the Z2 tablet is much more appealing in terms of design, with its uh, stylishly categorized layout. Samsung's music player is very functional, with plenty of sound modes and equalizers too, but uh, the interface is rather basic and already looks aging. Sony's four S4 surround speakers are situated in 2x2 placement at the bottom of the tablet and produce one of the cleanest, fullest tablet sound output we've heard. The Note Pro has two strong stereo speakers uh, as well, which uh, don't sound as clear, however, despite it, Sony had to keep its speakers waterproof and to stuff them into a thinner slate. The Z2 tablet is graced with an excellent video player that plays anything thrown at it uh, at 1080p resolutions even. You can play MKV and XVAD videos uh, in up to 1080p resolution with the Note Pro's uh, video player as well, but not DivX ones, which can be easily remedied uh, with a third-party player. The bright and large 12-inch screen on the Note Pro is great for watching movies, and in that regard it trumps the smaller, less luminous display on the Z2 tablet. The tablets are equipped with 8 megapixel cameras, and Note Pro even throws in an LED flash in case you want to, you know, carry it around at the Thanksgiving dinner and take pictures. Both offer plenty of scene options and color effects, including uh, panorama and HDR modes. Sony's tablet is extremely fast to focus and take a picture, and the superior auto mode has become very precise at guessing the scene in front. Note Pro features minimum shutter lag mm, as well, but uh, is a bit slower to focus. The photos from both tablets come out nice, with the amount of detail akin to their 8 megapixel resolutions. The, states, the slates oversaturate the colors a bit so that they look more pleasing than the actual scene, but don't overdo it to the point of yuckiness. When you shoot uh, contrasting scenes with them, like uh, against the sky background for example, we'd recommend to use the rich tone or HDR modes, as otherwise the pictures come out uh, underexposed on both. The slates record a 1080p video with fluid uh, 30 frames per second uh, inside and out, which looks more appealing from the Z2 tablet. Uh, because it oversaturates the scene a tad more and has a very good sound recording. With a 12-inch Note Pro, Samsung created a niche, productivity-oriented path, while Sony Slate is exactly what a media and web consumption device should be. An extremely thin and light uh, tablet with a waterproof certification added for extra measure. Both tablets feature high-resolution displays and fast processors, but after you've lugged around the Note Pro, you'd think twice whether to pay its significant price premium, $700 versus $500 uh, over the Z2 tablet. It offers more productivity options than the Sony tablet, uh, thanks to features like the multi-window mode and the S Pen stylus, plus a much longer battery life. The minute you grab the thinnest, lightest 10-inch tablet out there, however, most other slates in the Android world start to pale in comparison, including a certain huge and expensive 12-inch tablet. This was Daniel from Phone Arena with a comparison between the Sony Xperia Z2 tablet and the Samsung Galaxy Note Pro. For more information about these and other slates, you can visit us at phonearena.com. Thanks for watching.